I'm John David Powell. I worked for Public Works for 38 years. 33 of it was spent in property management and 20 of the 33 I spent taking care of the federal monuments and federal lands. Included in that was the National War Memorial and the ceremonial guard to guard the tomb. I was very fortunate to take care of um, elements like that, monuments and bronzing elements that people, they paid the ultimate price. It was a beautiful morning. We were preparing the site like we naturally do every year for Remembrance Day. And the Masons were making sure the site was in good condition. So basically we were standing at the tomb at 9.40, the Masons, myself, and uh, they went for breakfast. I went elsewhere to check on things. And Nathan and Brandon were guarding the tomb on the first shift, the 9 to 10 shift. The piper who had piped them in at 9 o'clock, he came running in to say, he's been shot, he's been shot. Well, then we regrouped, got together, and I went back up top. And up top, and Nathan was already slumped over the tomb. The first aiders were responding to him. The morning just unfolded from there. The adrenaline was still there. You're still trying to do everything. Uh, you're trying to process things. Then you were still tunnel vision, trying to respond to take care of things. I processed each day at a time, but my life before uh, Nathan's shooting and my life after is completely different. My list of things that I appreciated before the shooting and my list that I appreciate after are totally different, totally different. I take one day at a time, I appreciate a sunrise because I found out how life is so fragile and how life can in a heartbeat, heartbeat, disappear. I have a very, very healthy addiction, and that's the art, and that's a passion too. I take care of my monuments during the day and I come home and work in my studio on my art. The art really got me through it because I was able to totally focus on that which would take my mind and everything else off. Everything else that was happening. Depending on whatever subject I had picked, to, or even just putting the color with the sand and the palette knife and just doing it, it just took me, uh, my zone was just completely away from the events. Oh, if someone went through what I went through, um, first you have to deal with it obviously, but you have to stay focused. If you've got, as my case, my passion was my art, then if you're fortunate enough to have some sort of medium or some sort of outlet where you can just take yourself to that outlet or medium and focus on that, which will keep your mind off everything else, because it's still there. Well, you just don't get over something like that. I'll never get over it. I mean, I, I saw a human being alive and then he's dead and he was doing protecting uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Well, sorry, I, I don't apologize to anybody. I feel the way I do and I'm not gonna change. That's the way it is. I take pride in my stuff and I take pride in the things I took care of. So, I'm just fortunate I had art as an outlet and the art got me through the events.